All right, in the last video we covered maps. Uh, in this video we're gonna cover weak maps, which are very, very similar to maps except for their weakness. Um, so the basic idea with the weakness is that uh, the limitation is that you can't get size, you can't enumerate weak maps, uh, but the positive is that they uh, get garbage collected as long as long uh, immediately, as long as there's no other reference. So let's dive into an example to see what that looks like. We'll compare maps with weak maps. Uh, so if I do something like var my map equals, uh, oops, var my map equals a new map, and then I do var my weak map equals a new weak map. Um, okay, cool. So pretty basic right there. And then I can do some things like var, and I'll just make a random object, uh, and I'll set that to like foo var, something real simple like that. And I'll call this object one. And then I'll make var object two, and I'll do something really similar, uh, and I'll do bar and baz. I see that I got a little typo there. Cool. So basically we've got our map and our weak map, and then we've got these two really basic objects with keys and values that are just strings. So now, like we saw in the last video, we can do something like my map.set and then we can set the key to be this cool object and then we can set the value just to be like hello or something like that and this might be getting a little bit confusing these could be strings as well i just kind of wanted to show like we could just do string one as foo and then set foo to hello but i kind of wanted to show uh, how this garbage collection works uh, so then we can go ahead with this my weak map uh, dot set similar exact same syntax and we can set the object two to hello um, Cool, so now we've got these two things, right? And so if we do like uh, console.log my map.get object one, uh, we see hello. And real similar if we do console.log my weak map.get object two, uh, we also see hello. Cool. So that's where their similarities are. Where the differences are is basically what happens when we unset some of these objects. So let's go ahead and clear this, and this is what I mean. Um, so if we do object one equals null, and object two equals null, uh, and then we do something like my map dot uh, for each, uh, and that's a function with a key and a value, uh, and then we can do something like let's see console dot log uh, the key and the value. Um, and so we'll see that uh, even though object one no longer exists, it's null. Um, the weak or the map itself still keeps these things, like it keeps a reference to what was there. Because once you store something in a map, unless you directly unset it, unless you directly delete it from the map, uh, it'll stay there. Um, so then if we do the same kind of thing here with my weak map, um, we'll see, uh, I guess you don't get, yeah, right, you don't get a for each on weak map because uh, they're not enumerable. So for my weak map instead we'd have to just try it with like a get or something like that. Uh, and so if we go ahead and get object 2, um, we will see console.log, uh, we'll see that it's undefined. And so this might seem like a pretty trivial change, but, or difference, but the big thing is here that um, a weak map is just going to maintain weak references. So if there's nothing else pointing, um, you know, at that reference anymore, a weak map will just garbage collect it. It'll just be gone. Uh, whereas anything that you set in a map has to be explicitly deleted. Um, so if you're, you know, I mean, it's up to you to think out your use cases. But basically, if you want something really efficient that garbage collects really nicely, a weak map is a great choice. Um, but do remember that as soon as you lose your references to it, it's gone forever. And then, like I said before, if we kind of, um, let's see, take out these console logs, you'll notice just some things like if you console log uh, my map dot size here uh, and my weak map dot size, and then let's just get rid of this stuff for now, uh, you'll notice that you can't uh, do things like enumerating, like you can't get a size, you can't get a for each, you can't map over it, different things like that. So it's more like keeping this like kind of two arrays, one of keys and one of values um, in theory. Uh, so that's like the big difference though, is that you're not able to do things like iterate over them, but it is a nice key value store that's really efficient because things will get garbage collected as soon as they're not referenced anymore.